it's a bit uh, coincidental. I went to China for the first time in October, just a few months ago. I'd never been there before. I took the Montreal Symphony on tour, and it went very, very well. That's how I, I can speak about this. I mean, all the concerts were completely sold out. People, young people, like we were the Rolling Stones or something, trying to get a get a ticket. And everyone was so happy to hear that I was coming back with Gothenburg. So um, I did a little bit of pre, uh, <laughs> pre-advertising that I'll be back, you know, I'll be back in a few months. So this will be my second visit to China within just a space of six months' time. So. It's important for us to remember that the Chinese civilization and the Chinese culture is one of the most ancient cultures that we have on the planet Earth. Looked at in a different way, it is also true that what we consider European classical music, this is something that's relatively newly um, uh, popular in China. To support that popularity, we have to realize that all great orchestras tour to China. And in that sense, we consider the GSO, one of our great, great ambassadors of Sweden and a great orchestra in the international stage. And it is important that we also be there as a part of this mosaic of touring orchestras that go to China for inspiration, for confirmation. A cultural ambassadorial representative of different cultural traditions, different uh, national traditions uh, in China. Well, I'm excited. Five concerts, it's a real, it's a solid big tour, so I'm excited.